Now, this morning, police are looking for suspects in a pair of violent subway incidents, a stabbing on the two train and a sword attack that followed a fight on the A train. Now, this comes as police say subway crime is up about 41% this year. CBS News' John Diaz is live outside the 72nd Street subway station. And, John, what are we hearing from the man who was stabbed on that two train? Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. Well, that man, he is now at home and he is recovering, but quite the scare for both him and his girlfriend. And now he wants everyone to always keep in mind that you never know what's going on inside the heads of others and to always stay alert. Even if nothing happens to you, you see that there's a level of aggression like bubbling under the surface at all times. And it's it doesn't take a, a lot to break that. That's the message 26-year-old Sammy Tover wants everyone to remember after he became the latest victim of a subway crime in New York City. Attacked, he says, randomly on a number two train Wednesday night. He took out um, a cloth that was wrapping something and, and he was like showing it to everyone and he was like unraveling it and it was... Uh, a large kitchen knife. Tover says a stranger used that knife to nick him in the finger and stab him in the leg. He says his attacker initially made a beeline towards his girlfriend for no reason once he got on the train at Times Square. So Tover jumped in the middle to protect her. He sucker punched me right away. But it was his girlfriend that in the end saved him using pepper spray to fight off the attacker. She sprayed it right in between his eyes. Um, really good shot he he was rubbing his eyes and then he he left i wouldn't be up here um talking to anyone if it wasn't for her and in a separate incident less than 12 hours later in lower manhattan police say this man started an argument with another man on an uptown a train just after 9 thursday morning once they both left the chamber street subway station police say the suspect attacked using what's believed to be a sheath the case that covers a sword to hit the victim in the head it's it's unclear if the two know each other, but witnesses tell us the suspect was acting erratically before. Out of nowhere, he just like very forcefully opened the doors to the train car behind us and whipped out some sort of weapon um, that was just gigantic. And that victim was then taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. However, in both cases, though, the suspects are still on the loose. We're live this morning from the Upper West Side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.